up everyone? All right, well today is day two of the small account challenge and I'm up 600 bucks before fees and commissions. So I'll be up a little under 600 after fees and commissions, but uh, a good second day, although I made a little bit of a mistake. So we're gonna talk about that during today's recap. I'm a little annoyed about it, but it is what it is. I got green, shut it down, one trade, that's it. All right, so that's gonna be the recap. Now, before I get into the recap, I realized yesterday in day one, you know, I gave you guys the MicroStrategy uh, PDF download, which many of you guys downloaded. Awesome, good job, I'm glad you did that. But I realized that some of the terminology that I was using in that uh, Micro Pullback Strategy PDF may already be over your head. You may not know some of the terms I was talking about. You may under not understand some of the concepts I was referring to about uh, stock selection, only trading the right type of stocks. So what I wanna do is I wanna encourage you to click down below and register to the last Day Trading 101 class that I taught. It's a replay and you can watch that. And that is actually a free class that I taught uh, the, the community out there, all the people out there that are interested in learning how to trade. I taught a free class that's straight out of the Warrior Pro course. And I did that because I want to share with you these basic concepts that many traders don't understand. The process of finding strong stocks to trade. So yeah, I took one trade today and one trade yesterday. Well, how did I even find that stock? That's what I'm gonna break down in Day Trading 101. So click below, register to that. You'll learn about stock selection. You'll learn about my approach for risk management. And I'm gonna show you a couple of my other favorite entry setups. Uh, we don't talk about the micro pullback in that class, but we talk about actually the one that I took today, the first candle to make a new high. That was the setup that I took. So stock pops up, it pulls back a little bit. First candle to make a new high is my entry. Boom, just like that. One trade, in and out, done for the day. So make sure you register to my next replay of Day Trading 101. I hope you guys enjoy it. And hey, in case you didn't already know, day trading is risky. Easy come, easy go. Just like that, you can lose everything you put into a trade. You've got to be so careful. So with that in mind, you should trade in a simulator before you ever put real money on the line. And don't you dare try to blindly follow me or anyone else. The right way to learn to trade is by practicing in a simulator before going live with real money. All right, so with that, I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. I hope you enjoy the recap. It's a quick one and uh, we're gonna keep moving right along. So day one in the books, day two in the books, day three coming tomorrow. All right, enjoy the recap and I'll see you in the morning. everyone so today is day two of the small account challenge and um not a perfect day but one trade uh on dtss so i bought uh twice and sold twice so i, I today i have four tickets so two times four is eight so i'll have at least eight dollars in commission and then i'll have ecn fees so dtss this one um is also the one that i traded and did the best on in my main account, and we had some great momentum on it. This thing was hot. So the entry on this was uh, first one minute candle to make a new high, a little bit different from the micro pullback that I took in um, yesterday's trade. This is a bit more of a defined pullback. First one minute candle to make a new high. My entry was right there at uh, $4. It popped up here to uh, $4.36. I took the profit at $4.25. It then ended up, as you can see, continuing higher. And this is where I ended up trading it in my big account as it went higher and higher. I was tempted to consider going back in in my small account because uh, I took this trade uh, early. This was at, what time was this? Um, this was at 8.44. So I sat down here, opened up my computer. And before I even started broadcasting, I saw the setup and took the trade. So then when I logged in, I was like, hey guys, I, I already took the one trade in my small account today. And I felt like some of you guys were like, oh man, I missed it. And I felt bad too. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe, maybe today I will just go ahead and take two trades. And then I was like, no, one trade a day is the way to do it. And you know, just, it's just the luck of the draw that this one was um, just, I sat down and, and there it was. But the important thing, in my opinion, uh, is getting in early on a good quality setup. So getting in on that pullback right there, right at the uh, kind of the half dollar, whole dollar four, next target moving up to 425 450 and took profit as it went higher and so 
so that was where uh, it wasn't totally perfect because I, but I was recording. So students, you guys can go watch the the replay as you wish. Uh, but uh, then the other problem is that I put in the share size uh, right here for twelve hundred shares because my account today has uh, four thousand. Uh, what is it? Four thousand nine hundred forty-six dollars and thirty-eight cents, which is yesterday's profit. Uh, minus um, some of the ECN fees. So I was like, okay, I'll, you know, so I can buy a thousand shares and I could buy 1200. So I put it in for 1200 and then I clicked the buy button twice. I, it was, and the timestamp will show, um, let's see, it was, it was like instantaneous. It was just like, I, click, I just clicked it twice in the same second. And that is sort of force of habit. Because I do that in my main account all the time. I enter the order for 3,000 shares and I'll press it twice or 5,000 and press it twice. And so I clicked it twice and all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh God, I'm in with 2,400 shares. I'm using leverage. This whole point was to not use leverage. So really, I should only be up 300 today. That's what I should be up if I hadn't uh, inadvertently used leverage. So after that, I... Uh, I, I, I said when I was streaming, I was like, I don't know, how am I going to prevent that from happening again? And someone said, well, you could email uh, the broker and say, hey, can you disable leverage on my account? So I was like, OK. Um, so I did. And it now shows my day daytime buying power as uh, the same as my starting equity, which is the starting balance today. So now I think that problem is solved. And so right now, for instance, uh, if I tried to enter an order on this for 2,000 shares, and I'll just put it at like 450, this order should get rejected. Yes. Um, the order will not be sent. Right. So so that's good. Um, okay, so it sounds like, it seems like the problem um, is, is solved here, which is good. So, you know, I think this is also relevant for a beginner trader because you may fund an account with, you know, $5,000 or maybe $2,500 or maybe $500 or whatever it is. And if the account does give you leverage, you may end up inadvertently using it. You may not want to, you may not intend to, but maybe instead of pressing the order for, you know, 600 shares or 500 shares, you pop an extra zero and it's 5,000. Or instead of 1,200, you put an extra zero and it's 12,000. And if you have the leverage to take that trade, it's going to execute that order. And I actually talked in um, a Warrior Pro Mentor session about how two of my biggest green days from a few years ago were as a result of accidentally entering 15,000 shares and pressing that order three times when I had not intended to. So I ended up with a huge position. And thank goodness the trade ended up working. You know, so it was still... It was still a good trade. It just was that I took about 10 times more risk on it than I had intended. And because I had the buying power, I was able to do it. And so that's a good reminder, um, you know, not to let the account just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, but to draw the profit out and pay yourself so you don't get caught in one of those scenarios where you actually have the buying power and then you make just a stupid mistake. And it, it's a total accident. And trading is hard enough without losing money because of a stupid accident, right? We know that trading is hard. So today, one trade a day keeps the uh, real job away. One trade a day, it's a small account way. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, I did end up using um, my buying power. So this position of 2,400 shares ended up being about um, a $9,000 trade. But that's not, uh, that's not too bad all things considered, uh, since I have $30,000 of buying power in this, I could have, if I had uh, wanted to use that leverage, I could have been taking like an 8,000 share position. And that would have been um, certainly much more aggressive and, and much riskier. So a good lesson from today and a green day nonetheless. Uh, and, and of course, that's regardless of share size, because I focused on one good quality trade. So for those watching the recap, um, I mentioned this during the intro, but I'll say it again now. I realized yesterday when I gave you guys that um, sort of micro, uh, let's see, I'll do a split screen. When I gave you that micro strategy uh, PDF that 
you guys uh, were probably lacking some of the knowledge of the terminology that I was using right in the PDF. And so I encourage you to register to one of my Day Trading 101 classes. I teach them a couple times a year. If you registered right now, you could watch the last one that I taught. But even if you register like a year from now, you would go into a replay of the most recent one that, that I've taught. And in that class, what I do is I actually teach a chapter straight out of the Warrior Pro course. And I break down for you before we teach that chapter, the basic terminology that you need to know in order just to kind of you know get your head around what day trading is. I talk about stock selection, how I find strong stocks to trade. I talk about risk management, and then I talk about the specific entries and exits. So make sure you click uh, the link down. I'll pin it in the comments, but it'll also be in the description if you guys want to check that out uh, for those who haven't already. Of course, students who are watching this, um, I'm not saying anything that you don't already know. You've probably checked out or watched uh, that workshop before you joined us. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with those tuning in on uh, social media. And um, thank you guys uh, here for uh, another another good day. So grateful that the market is uh, as hot as it is right now. That's one of the things with uh, a small account challenge. It's a bit of the luck of the draw. You just don't know um, exactly what you're going to get. But uh, we've had a, a good first two days and I'm going to try to keep the momentum going. And tomorrow with this buying power adjusted, I'll uh, be able to... Uh, make sure that my trade is within uh, or under my, my max buying power, which is good. All right, so uh, that's it for day two, $600 before commissions. Uh, we'll come back in tomorrow over $5,000. It'll be around $5,500 and keep this account growing. Uh, $25,000 of profit is the goal, which will put the account at just under $30,000. All right, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope those on YouTube hit the thumbs up and are subscribed and keep watching the Small Account Challenge. All right, see you for day three. And that right there was an entire video with no ads. I don't monetize my YouTube channel with video ads, which means you guys get to enjoy the content. But do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that this channel is the channel to watch if you want to learn about day trading.